Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, so this video is on Firefox. Let's say you are an avid reader and you read a lot. You visit a lot of websites, so you have bookmarked a lot of websites, right? And if you use speed dial or fast dial add-on, then you might have even added a lot of websites uh, on speed dial or fast dial. So, uh, as you have a habit of reading a lot, and whenever you read whenever whenever you go through an article you feel like bookmarking it but there are some permanent bookmarking websites like f over here for example I've got like yeah shitload of websites that I bookmark alright and sometimes you just want to read an article you don't want to bookmark it permanently just read it and del delete it later and let's say you don't have much time you you went through this article you don't have much time you have to go somewhere but you want to bookmark it you don't want to bookmark it permanently by going to bookmarks and add to bookmark so then uh, you know browsing through the bookmarks when you have a lot of bookmarks would be a headache so this add-on it's called read it later it's a very ha handy add-on if you are a person like that what it does is when you click on the arrow mark over here it will bookmark it temporarily it will add the bookmark to this list over here yes read it later right it will add the bookmark to that list over here and when you finish reading it okay and when you come back and when you start reading the article and you finish it just click uh, on the arrow mark just click on the arrow mark and it will remove the bookmark automatically it will remove the bookmark automatically from the read it folder right from the read it later folder so it's just like that simple easy to use just have to install the add-on and click on this to add it to your list to add it to your list and when you have read it just remove it it will close the tab and it will also delete it from your read it later folder right simple and uh, if you are a vivid reader just like what I said then you might want to install it avid reader yeah not vivid reader okay assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh uh, okay guys uh, there's this two very important feature which I forgot to mention yesterday because like the other part of the video was done yesterday and I'm doing it today um, one feature is you can actually save all these pages yeah you have you have an icon over here when you click you'll get a drop down menu and all the um, articles or the pages that you bookmark right for reading and it will even sh tell you when you bookmarked it right and uh, if you uncheck if you read it check you can just click on the arrow mark over here right you can click on the arrow mark and that will delete it that is one feature the other one is you can uh, if I'll try to go yeah, to options and uh, you can uh, sync it you can uh, well you know sync it with other devices I think you want read it sync it works with iPhone I, I guess it was there on the website you can check it out later and you can turn it and synchronize it with other devices or other computers and another feature is offline mode so if you click on this and when you save when you save click on the arrow mark it will save the web page it will download it so next time you can uh, browse or read the web pages even when you are offline yeah as you can see read it later it works on iPhone too yeah that's what I wanted to tell you guys Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.